Try to here with another video, and um, today, you know, we're gonna play some Call of Duty Ghost, cause you know, I was gonna, I was thinking of doing Modern Warfare Remastered for a boots on ground game, but it's just too slow to kind of compare it to uh, World War Two, you know, it's just, it's way too, too slow to even think of comparing it to uh, World War Two. It's no, nothing like World War Two. So, um, so yeah, we're we're playing some. Call of Duty Ghost just doing like a live com kind of thing and basically we're gonna uh, just run around and kill people just like we're gonna do in World War 2 and th that's the thing about these games is uh, like these boots on ground games um, some people on uh, Modern Warfare Remastered trying to get ready for the new World War 2 season coming out and I'm like why are you playing Modern Warfare Remastered for World War Two, like they play nothing alike, and don't get me wrong, Ghost plays really nothing like World War Two either. But it's more, it's more better of a representation because it's more of a fast-paced, uh, you know, game. You can run around and shoot people. It's not like you have to, you know, crawl everywhere. You know, it's you, you can still run around, do stuff like this. You know, um, this map I absolutely hate, but uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really change much. You know, you can still. In, the, in these games, these boots and ground games, you can still run around. There's still, like, a movement system. Oh, what? I must have missed my first bullet. There's still, like, a movement system, and that's what some people don't really get about boots on ground, is it's not... People don't call people jetpackers because they're just good at boots... Or just good at jetpack games. They call them jetpackers because they're not good at boots on ground games because boots on ground contains a different movement system. You have to be, you have to understand the movement system, but, um, but that's why I don't really think of anybody as a jetpacker, because really, uh, people that are good with the jetpack system just means that they adapted to the jetpacks rather quickly, meaning that they're good at adapting to movement, meaning that they'll be perfectly fine adapting to the new boots on ground coming out in World War II. So really, I, I don't think many of these people that you, people call jetpackers or people that are going to fall off in World War II, I don't think they're really going to. I think they're going to adapt uh, just fine. It's going to take them a little longer to adapt because the um, boots on ground players are, you know, used to boots on ground and they're better at it. But I think the quote unquote jetpackers will adapt just fine and be perfectly fine for it. But that's just my opinion, you know. Uh, me personally, I've I've played Boots on Ground. I played competitive in Ghost. Uh, that was my first year of playing actual competitive. I played League Play and Black Ops 2 before that, but that's not really competitive. That's more just pubs competitive side style, you know. It's like a public match of competitive. Um, I kind of miss this running around on Boots on Ground kind of game. You know, yes, it's it's fun to fly around and just jetpack everybody and you know. It's, it's a lot of fun with the jetpacks, in my opinion. I liked it, but it, the, the boots on ground is just so much more fun. It's so much more easy, like, not easier. It's so much, for somebody who played boots on ground and understands the movement of boots on ground, it is easier for me because I understand. But for somebody who's a jetpacker, you know, it's, well, quote-unquote jetpacker because I don't really call people jetpackers. Um, somebody who's just is used to the jetpack movement and hasn't really played uh, competitively on a boots on ground game, it's not as easy for them, um, and that's why it's, that's why people say it takes more skill for a for boots on ground than it does jetpack because it's it's completely different. Everything is like completely different, which I agree. You know, boots on ground is a lot harder than you know a jetpack game. A jetpack game is 60, 70 percent, uh, you know, movement system, and you know. 20 to 30 percent just the gun skill with this game it's more like 60 70 percent gun skill and smarts well it's more like you know 50 percent smarts you know 30 percent gun skill and then 20 percent movement maybe not even but um you know movement's not as as big of a factor in these games and that's just the differences of boots on ground and jetpacks and that's why a lot of people like the boots on ground is because of the movement and just you know not being able to fly away above somebody's head yeah like i was saying you know the jetpacks and 
the, the jetpack era is over. You know, that's what that's what a lot of people have been saying lately. Holy leg. Um, the jetpack era is over with and done with, which I'm kind of happy of, but kind of sad because I do, um, once in a while, I do miss my jetpack. I like just flying around, trolling people, messing with people because my movement was just so, so good on that game and on jetpack games that, you know, it was just fun to mess with people and, you know, because when you had a better movement than somebody else, you could win or juke out their bullets. Um, you could win gunfights or juke out their bullets all the time. So I would purposely just, you know, juke out their bullets and not really try to kill them much. And I just like fly around and torture them and torment them and mess with them, you know. And th that was the fun part of, uh, you know, playing the jetpack era games. But um, I am definitely glad that the boots on ground is back and, uh, you know, here to take over. Which is good because I, I, I like the, the boots on ground better. Which so does most people. I'm um, not going to say everybody does because there are people out there that enjoy the uh, the jetpacks more, but most people enjoy to use the boots on ground system better, which, you know, there's a reason for that. It's just a better system. Like right there, I would have had that kill easily because I would have just flew at him, but I couldn't because there was no jetpack, which was good. You know, it saved him well for like four seconds, but... If he was a better player, he would have been able to head glitch that and uh, kill me. So that's another thing. Head glitches in uh, boots on ground games are a dominant thing. Especially like you, if you play uh, NWR, you definitely know this. Head glitches are absolutely insane for NWR. And you know, if you're on a head glitch, you know you're nine out of ten times, eight out of ten times is gonna win that gunfight. Like, you know. You most likely should win that gunfight if you're on the head glitch, and they ha it basically gives them a disadvantage. So you should definitely win that gunfight if uh, you're on a head glitch. And that's the thing with the, the boots on ground games, you want to uh, put yourself in in head glitches. You want to put yourself in cover, basically like real life. You know, if you're here and then you, your teammates are pushed up, and then you push up and you push up to the cover here. You know, you don't you don't just run around and fly around you know way up in the sky up here so it's definitely more of a realistic kind of thing uh the one cool thing about it is um you know you don't have to you don't have to worry about having a super super high sensitivity you can just you know have a nice sensitivity that you feel confident in that you know you beam with and you won't have to worry that they're you know 20 feet above you and you'll have to respond really, really fast you know they're they're only going to be a couple places that they possibly can be. And those places, if you're a good enough player, you'll know exactly where those places are. You'll know where they're going to come from, how they can come from there, when they're going to come from, you know. It's uh, more, of a, more of a strategy game at that point. On Boots on Ground, it's more mental, more of a, you know, a more, more of a strategy, smarts kind of battle. Not just fly around and, uh, you know, shoot people when you're way above their head. And it's still gun skill, don't get me wrong. You still gotta have a lot of gun skill for boots on ground, which is another good thing that I like about it is you can't just fly around people and you know get get the advantage on them just because your movement is so much better. You know, right right there that movement, you know, there's jump shots in this game, just this game not alone, but boots on ground games, um, jump shots, drop shots, things like that are you know th those are your jetpack basically those are how you advantage yourself wow that's how you um advantage yourself to get an advantage on a gunfight is you jump in the air you drop to the floor you basically move away from where they think you're going to be if they're, you're going to come through that door you don't just come through the door no you come and drop to the floor so they have to move their sight as you're already shooting at them and you're gonna win the gunfight unless you just miss a lot of bullets so that's that's the movement of boots on ground games is you gotta you gotta basically know where to push when to push um how to push it and it's just a completely different style of game and a preferable style of game for many people and uh, many players, which same with me. It's a preferred style of play. I enjoy it so much more because it, it allows me to bring out the um, smart side of me, uh, the the playmaker, the you know the one that does all the cool stuff and 
not just flies around, you know. And IW and BO3, I was just the guy really who just, you know, flew around and, you know, used my movement to my advantage. But um, in this, the movement allows me to use my smarts as a movement system, basically. It's hard to understand, but it's, it's a completely different animal. And it's a beautiful animal. It's an amazing animal. But it's a completely different animal in the, you know. But, um... Woo, trucking shots. Woo. But yeah, head glitches. I'm gonna, I, I can't wait for this season for World War II just because the game's gonna be absolutely amazing. You know, game's gonna be amazing. The CWL is gonna be amazing. They uh, revealed the CWL um, the other day, yesterday, I think. Ooh, it was like a two bullet. Uh, I think they did it like two days ago or something like that, or the other, yesterday or something. I don't remember. But um, they revealed it and. That was just awesome to watch. Uh, yeah, it was yesterday because I was hunting yesterday. And that was just awesome to watch. There's some awesome things coming with the next year to come. And hopefully I'll uh, um, be, you know, be in it all and all that stuff. So, some good gameplays right there. You know, boots on ground. Here we come. Can't wait. A couple more days. Uh, it's like next week or something. Let's see. Calendar. It is next Friday. Call of Duty World War II releases. So, I cannot wait. Hope you guys can't wait either. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Link in the description. And as always, guys, have a nice day, evening, or night, wherever you guys live in the world. Meanwhile.